Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an empties video. My bag of empties is now full and so I figured why not take this time and film this empties video so I can take all of these out to the recycling in the trash and start refilling this with more stuff for the next video. So I'm just going to kind of separate these into some categories and then we're going to dive right in. The first category I want to start with is makeup and this is something that I finished up in my project pan. If you guys have not checked that series out, be sure to. I'll put a card up above. But this is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Fuse Complexion Prep Spray. So I used this basically as a primer before I started my makeup. Um, I had used this on and off for a really long time and I only, I think it took me four uses to finish it up for that project pan. Honestly, not my favorite. I have not repurchased. I don't think I, I would. I'm not really into the primers that you spray on your skin. I haven't ever found one that I like love. So maybe that's part of it. But um, yeah, as of right now, that's certainly something I would not repurchase. The next makeup empty that I have is this L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I know this is like a cult favorite. People love this mascara and I loved it as well. But the one big problem that I had with this mascara is that when I put it on my lower lash line, it would always transfer and I would look like I have black eyes. I have started to avoid that issue because I recently picked up the Clinique lower lash line mascara so I'm not using like the regular mascara on my lower lash lines I'm just using that one and I haven't had as many issues so I probably would repurchase this I just wouldn't ever put it on my lower lash line again because it was just like a source of frustration for quite some time but this overall is a very good mascara and then the last makeup empty I have you can't even tell what this is because all of the writing has rubbed off but I completely finished this Lorac eye primer this I believe came with my Lorac pro palette and I just had it sitting around forever and I finally like dug in and used it all up and I really liked this primer I didn't have any issues really with creasing I think my eyelids tend to crease a lot because I have really hooded eyelids so there's not a lot of space for that <laughs> for stuff to go on them but for the most part this kept my eyelids pretty crease free the only time I would have issues if it was like super humid outside or I was wearing my makeup for like hours and hours and hours and hours but for the most part this kept them looking good so I'm a fan of this I have not repurchased it but it would be a eye primer that I would repurchase in the future if I needed one moving on to skincare the next thing I finished is this pixie skin treats glow tonic this was a primer that I would use in the morning I really enjoyed this primer I thought it worked really well um, I liked the feeling it of on my skin and certainly it kept my skin clear when I used it one thing that I didn't exactly love is the price of this so as you guys can see this is certainly a smaller bottle and it was like 15 to 18 dollars so just something to consider if you're looking to pick this up but I did recently see that pixie is now being sold at Ulta so you can certainly use your points on it or you can purchase it and get points towards free stuff in the future so that's certainly a benefit um, I have not repurchased this but I probably would either repurchase this one I know they have a rose one I, in the future I certainly had no issues with it that I that I wouldn't get it again I finished this origins clear improvement active charcoal mask I had this for quite some time I really enjoyed this mask I thought it did really good stuff for my skin after I wash off my skin would feel really smooth my pores would look really clean so big fan of this I would repurchase this again I have not yet but certainly something that I would get in the future and then I also finished this Freeman uh, facial clay mask mint lemon I thought the smell of this was amazing and you get a ton of mask for not very expensive this is very affordable um, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this mask again I didn't really notice the type of benefits from this that I noticed for this probably the reason of the cost difference there I know Freeman has a bunch of other masks this is the only one that I've ever purchased uh, I might have purchased another one before this so I've used two of them I've never noticed any like huge differences using these masks but they're certainly you know something affordable to pick up if you wanted to but I have not repurchased this and then I also have this Restoring Facial Serum. This is Vitamin C. This is from the brand Giovanni. I got this at Marshall's and it was $6.99. I used this in the mornings before I put on my moisturizer. I really liked how it felt. I think it did good stuff for my skin. Um, if I see this again at Marshall's, I certainly would pick it up because it is affordable and I liked how it felt. But it, I have not seen it there and I have not picked it up since 
this one. So moving on to body and hair care, I use two of these EOS shave creams. I like these. The problem is I think that they get used up really fast when shaving your legs. Like I feel like I have not had them in my shower for very long and then they're all of a sudden gone. But they are really nice on the skin. I think they keep my legs smooth. Like they keep a close shave with the razor. They're pretty affordable. They smell really good. So I have picked up another one since I finished those two and probably will continue doing so at least for the near future. I finished one of my herbal essences, shampoos. You guys see these in every single empties, either the shampoo or the conditioner. This time it's a shampoo. I love these. I have repurchased them. As you guys know, I will continue to do so because I'm just a big fan, but I always just try different scents. This one was the white grapefruit and Mosa Mint. Not my favorite scent, but still really good stuff. I finished this Summer's Eve cleansing wash and this is in the scent Delicate Blossom. I like this. I think it does a good job and so I have repurchased this. And then I also finished this Eucerin Skin Calming Daily Moisturizing Cream. This is just something I had in my work bag. It's just like a travel hand lotion. I really like this. I have picked up other ones of these for travel purposes or whatever because this is a travel size one. But since I finished this, I haven't because I have a Jergens travel size hand lotion that I'm using in the meantime. And then my last empty is this Fresh Balsam candle. So this is from Bath and Body Works. And the scent on this says made with pine, cedarwood, and eucalyptus essential oils. And this is absolutely one of my favorites for the holiday season. Obviously we are out of that, but I think I used this a little bit into January just because I still need to finish the candle. It smells great, a really fresh scent, highly recommend for the winter time if you are interested in smelling something good. So that is it for all my empties. I am planning on saving all of my makeup empties for a year-end empty, so I'm gonna save those three items that I talked about in the beginning, and then hopefully I'll have a lot more at the end of the year to show you guys. I think that'll be really cool to see all of the makeup empties that I finished. I have a lot of things that I feel like are on the verge of being done. Hopefully in the next empties you'll see a lot more. I just wanted to get this video filmed though because that, that bag was getting full, and I have like 10 different things that I feel are very close to being finished, and then I would be overflowing and I just needed to get it filmed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this empties. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.